Hello, welcome to the podcast show. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Isn't that neat? My name's Andy and I don't have a dad. Watch this. Why would you do that? I don't know. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hopefully this podcast doesn't end that way. Find out, I guess. <laughs> hey guys, fun fact. Did you know that antelope can't swallow water, but in order to stay hydrated, they have to chew ice. Another fun fact, Sunday Cool is the best for all your custom apparel buying needs. So if you have an organization or if you're starting a clothing brand, use Sunday Cool where we have super soft shirts uh, with uh, super soft prints. Also fun fact, that first fun fact was fake, but the second fun fact was a fact. Fact. Very, very fun. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to like come up with a natural conversation now. <laughs> this is it. This is right here. Um, hey, look at us. Brown hat boys. Brown hat oh. boys. Brown hat boys. Born sweater girls. <gasps> Ooh. And Andrew <laughs> has long hair. <laughs> Brown <laughs> face guy. I mean, you're just getting. There's a, and Andrew's there. <laughs> it's like right orange, there. orange, orange, orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Brown skin, brown hat boys. Hey. Look at us. Look at us. We are kind of on the same palette, except. Except for you. You screwed it up. Hey. Hey. I felt like being a little bright today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring well, a little sunshine into this dark office. We'll spread it to your personality, not just your wardrobe. It's Ayo. there. <laughs> you're the one being all, man, you're dark. And we just started. What are you talking about? All the stuff that we talked about is not even going to be in the podcast because you said it couldn't be. Right. Why? You'll Brown never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys will never know. <laughs> We're cutting that out. This sweater. <laughs> We're doing it live. Me. It reminds me of when Josh and I first started dating. Do you know where I got that sweater? Where? Boston. Boston? Boston. You got this in Boston? Got that sweater in Boston. Lily, let me hear your Boston accent. I won't do it. I won't do it. (laughs) (laughs) That was actually pretty good. I won't do it. Hey, I'm not going to do it. Um, I put it on in the store. I said, how do you like them apples? (laughs) No, get out. (laughs) Get out. I'm from Connecticut. I don't really get, like, I get that, like, that was a tough line, but, like, I don't really understand how it was a tough line. What? How do you like them apples? Like, how do you like them apples? It was a tough line. How was it like, tough? Like, how, like, because he's trying to be a tough guy. He's like, hey, you like apples? Oh, was about, he was talking about apples. Yeah. He was eating an apple, wasn't he? When he said yeah. It? I don't think he was eating an apple. Yeah, he was. He was not eating an apple. Ooh. Will Hunting was not eating an apple when he said, there, I, I didn't like them apples. Something with the scene involved apples. Uh, there were, yeah, I don't think thing. it did. That's it why did. I'm confused. Or maybe his therapy lessons, he was talking about apples. No. It, hey, this like, was before the therapy lessons. Oh, no. I'm, I'm telling you, there's something. We're getting to the bottom of it. We'll watch the scene after this. After I park my car and have it, yeah. <laughs> that was good. Hey, say park good. your car. I will do it. No, you I have to. I'm you have immediately to. sweating. Park my car in Harvard Yard. Oh, my God. Pack my car and have it, yeah. Go for it. Don't look at me. Okay. Hey. okay. Oh, gosh. I'm pack. sweating. Pack my car in Harvard Yard. That was actually <laughs> good. <laughs> Well, the, mid, the, the middle was a little off, but that <laughs> end was perfect. That was good. Excellent. All right, Andrew, let's just we'll just I come up with something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like oh, like you're not talking about the, the song. You didn't do a song. No, yeah, we yeah, yeah we we'll didn't, figure it out. We didn't prepare anything, yeah. but we'll yeah. whatever. I think I've got a chord progression. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, sounds good. Right Today you're gonna listen to Ninjas Are Butterflies I'm sure you've heard it all before but I promise it'll be a surprise I don't believe that anybody has a show like us, don't you know? Cause it is episode 31 We're gonna sit and talk and have some fun Cause there are many things we'd lead. like to say to you, so let's start the show. Cause ninjas are really butterflies, baby. Baby. So let's start the show. Let's start the show. Come on, baby, let's go. Oh, I'm butterfly. <laughs> 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 
super dark. <laughs> that was pretty good for just that right was off the <laughs> right off the dome. Right off the dome. No. That was pretty good. That was good. Good job. Good job, guys. Hey, excellent. I don't know why I got Welcome so show. nervous singing it. <laughs> it's like performing on American Idol. I know. It's like, will they say yes? Am I going to Hollywood? That was absolutely atrocious. Uh I didn't I didn't like it. I loved it. Um Okay, everyone just be quiet, please. I know you were quiet, but just remain quiet. Yep. <sighs> Today's question. Weird one. Very weird. Okay. Sent in by a viewer. All right. <sighs> Today's question. Should we feed children? Uh, why are you looking at me? You can answer, I guess. Why are you all looking at me? Is this for me? Yeah, I guess you'll start because I don't know why Andy looked at you first. <laughs> Should we feed children? Of course. Poison. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa Lily, Lily, you didn't let me finish. Oh, Hold on. Whoa! Gosh. Lily wants to feed children poison? No, you I heard it right oh there. My goodness. This is. Where's Jane? Where's Jane? Oh my God. Where's Jane? Oh, no. Welcome to the show! <laughs> Crazy. Just that kidding. worked so good. Yeah, the way good. she said, of course, so quickly, and you said poison right after. <laughs> that Just was kidding. perfect. Jane is safe with her grandma. Yes. Or is she? Gigi. Gigi. Or is she? <laughs> Mama. Is that a cat in the hat? Murder. <laughs> uh, of course, we shouldn't feed children poison. Of course not. But we should not. feed them. Hey. We should feed them. Maybe. No. If they've been good. <laughs> Have you kids been good? <laughs> you get food. Nope. Go to bed. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> um, My kids don't eat if they haven't they've been bad. Really? That's just a parental decision I've made. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's important that they learn you don't eat unless you act the way I feel you should be acting. You should be acting today. <laughs> That's very interesting parenting. Yeah. It's just, it's um, just my thing. Starve. <laughs> you really do that though? Mm-hmm. You should probably clarify. No, no, that's like, no, that's, no, I, I know a lot of times we joke on the podcast and uh, everything like yeah. that, but in this instance, I am not. <gasps> oh. Oh. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Speaking with, uh, about things that happening to children, something happened yesterday that oh, was, my God. hey, it's okay. I, this happens. Shame. If this happens. Shame. Hey. Shame. I feel the shame is so deep. <laughs> no, this happens more often than not, I think. Yeah. I hope. And you guys were good about it, so yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's still, yeah. So, I don't know how good we were about it. <laughs> Lily was at the park yesterday with Ada and baby Jane. Just yes. being a good mom. Yep. And Ada Hanging out with the kids. Ada loves playing in the car. Like she just like if we're outside playing, she goes up to the car, like, let me in. And yeah. she like grabs the steering wheel and like does all that stuff. Like most children. And we let um, her drive her once in a while. She's yeah. two, it's just fine. <laughs> so Lily put Ada in the car because Ada just runs everywhere well so but she, but she you're also le- you're went leaving. straight to the driver's side like she was okay. like i want to play like that was okay. her expectation but so, are you leaving we yeah. were gonna go get yeah. lunch but there was no rush so i was like yeah, yeah you could play while well. i put jane in the car. yeah so lily yeah. put jane in the car in her uh seat shut the door as soon as the door shut <laughs> ada goes click click, click. <laughs> locks the car with my backpack yeah and my oh no in the car. Um, did you hear it Yep. <laughs> it was that fateful, that fateful click. And I went, I went, I'm not going to panic. That's and immediately. Then, <laughs> and then, and can then, I tell the phone to like, when, when, when she calls you? Yeah. Okay. So we're sitting here and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. And then Josh gets a phone call. He's like, oh, one second. I got to take this. He always interrupts our phone conversation and talk our conversations because Lily's talking and calling. <laughs> it's obnoxious. But um, she calls and I could overhear her because she said like, She's louder, and so it's like I can hear it. And then she says, "Okay, don't panic." And then he's like, "Okay," and I'm just laughing already. <laughs> and you're like, "But the worst possible thing in the world just happened." <laughs> so she called the fire department, and I drove like a hundred miles an hour back home to find a spare key. No cops. No cops. This is the this- second time. 
I've been able to drive through the Eustis to Varys Mount Dora area going way too fast, <laughs> a thousand percent reckless driving. Yeah. And no one stops me. <laughs> First, two things. Before, um, if there's any police officers in those areas that are watching this podcast, we love you. And there's no need to up your, you're looking yeah. around. It's fine. You it's, see a, it's that's a car, you can let them go. Green Tacoma. <laughs> and just, <laughs> know, just know that if I am driving that fast, there's, there's an emergency. A it's on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Also, why is it those people never get caught? People like that that are driving absolutely so fast, but it's like, yeah, true. oh, you, you're one day past your registration and you're done. You're oh, going yeah. to jail. Your headlight's right? been out for nine months. Yeah, yeah, Silly. Like, nine minutes, my head, like, my headlight's been out. And you pull me over and yet there's a guy that's going like 130 <laughs> down just because yeah. McDonald's breakfast is going to be closing. So. <laughs> All right, continue. Sorry. But yeah, so fire department got there. They're there for like, what, eight minutes? I mean, it was no time. Until yeah. I got there. Yeah. But they were like, I mean, if he doesn't get here soon, we're just going to have to bust in the window well i was starting to i was like i was staying really calm because which is not normal for me guys and i was just like you did a good job gonna, like woosa, woosa. <laughs> and, and josh is calling me what's going on what's going on and i'm talking to the dispatch person and they're like is anybody upset i'm like well my newborn's crying you know but because she needs to take a nap that's the reason and i was like but i told her i was like i'm really scared though that ada's gonna meander around and then sit on the baby that was my worst fear because she was in her car yeah. seat and then ada kept getting like closer and like get like oh that's panic chain. that's panic and so i told the fireman i was like just if she gets near the baby be prepared just to, knock it down to, i don't care knock just, it down. <laughs> throw me through yeah. the window if you have to yeah. <laughs> but they you could tell like they kept asking me questions like how long have the kids been in a car? Why did this happen? How did this happen? Like very accusatory. Yeah, like, yeah, and I'm like, they think I'm negligent and they're probably going to send DCF to do a surprise visit on probably. our house. Well, I did call CPS just because <laughs> I felt like that was like- CBS? CPS, oh. Oh, Child that? Protective Services. What's DCF? I don't know. I have no idea. I'll figure <laughs> that's, oh, that's I, a thing. I can't remember either. But I, I did report just because I'm a mandatory reporter. <laughs> I really feel like that that's important. So and it's I, called CPS. C Child, Child Protective Services. Services. Yeah. yeah, that, that makes, makes more sense. sense. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anyway, I um. We got him out. We got him out. It was terrible. And Ada was having the time of her life. Yeah, she was, she was, she was laughing blast. the whole time and like clapping and, and taunting and the firemen like, yeah. "Hey, give, give me, you know, whatever." Hey, don't give me. <laughs> and they're like, "They're like, have you tried to get her to push the unlock button?" And I'm like, "I guess at whatever extent I can with the two year old." Hey, you know? push that button, push Ada. this one right here. Hey, lady. And she's going ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That happened to me one time. We were coming out of Academy Sports, and uh, it was when Debbie was younger, and she loved playing with keys, as kids do, right? And so I pick her up, and uh, no, she was already she was small enough. She was in her car seat still. Yeah. And so I she had the keys while we were walking through the store and everything. I put her in the seat, not even thinking, walking around, and then I get three quarters of the way around to the passenger, I mean, the driver's side, and I hear the, all the clock locks <laughs> click, and I'm like, oh no. And so I froze and I was just like, she's going to hit it again. And I reached for the handle and I'm just like, she's going to hit it again. She's going to, she's got to God, please. And so as soon as she hit click, I jerked that door open <laughs> so fast. I mean, those keys. It's, it's terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. It's so, so, so scary. scary. I thought the whole point of having those like wireless key fobs though, was that you could not actually lock your yeah, keys Yeah. What's your up car. with that? There must be a was the car Was the car on? Like, the car wasn't on. No, right? but no. every time so we've, maybe. we've locked the car with the keys inside, you can just open the door. Yeah, it'll like, oh, yeah. go beep, beep, beep. Interesting. I yeah. don't know. But do you know when I was in high school, our neighbors called CPS on our family? Really? Why? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can understand. We got we a lot of Tannerite for a kid. Yeah. We <laughs> for had, an unsupervised We had guns. Child. We had Tannerite. We had, I mean, just like every other night there was an explosion in our backyard. Yeah. <laughs> And like twenty high school kids, like we dug like mud pits and like all this stuff. Yeah. But the reason why our neighbor one day saw me and my <laughs> my little sister, <laughs> and I would was shooting the bow and arrow just oh straight up. Oh my goodness! And then we would run away, like for, like the movie Grown Ups. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. But this was before Grown Ups. Yeah, you guys invented so, it. So um, I played that too. Yeah, it's so <laughs> stupid. Don't do that, guys. Yeah, that. Um. But see, insane. Yeah, see, uh, I think Taylor was a junior or a senior in high school, <laughs> and the guy came to our door, opened it, and he's like, "Hi, are you the father?" And he's like, "No." What? And then he's <laughs> like, "And then he's like, oh." He's like, and so he's like, "I." My impression was that 
you guys were little kids from the <laughs> this report. He said, but I can all see that you are teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> Consenting and adults he's doing like, a stupid activity. He's just like, I'm I'm just gonna go. Like I you guys are good. So we were fine. Imagine if something bad happened, how bad that guy would feel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kid comes in with an arrow in his head and says, I need help. <laughs> that that would be so much pressure because I'd be like Blink twice, but I don't think you can make the kids do that. Taylor right? was huge though, nice. Like he yeah. was like, super yeah. He dead. like at that point he could have said, "Yeah, I'm the yeah. dad." And he'd been like, "Yeah, I cool, father." <laughs> make sure your kids don't do that anymore, please. Yeah. Um. So that was crazy. That is CPS, nuts. scary, you, scary CBS. stuff. Yeah, you CBS. were you were right. I Depart- called CBS on you. <laughs> Department of Children and Families. Oh. oh. Both are correct. Oh, interesting. Are they synonymous? Or I, don't, I don't know the correlation, but they're both. Yeah, they're entities. definitely probably two different. different Interesting. Yeah. Think, mm. Speaking of correlation, have you guys heard of the Coral Castle? <gasps> You're making that up. I'm not. A it's Coral Castle? crazy. The Coral Castle. Ooh. This is getting into some deep, dark stuff. <laughs> it sounds happy, though. <laughs> it does sound happy. Ooh, you want to go take a trip to Coral Castle? It's not even, it's not scary, but it's weird. Yeah. And it's fascinating. And it's in Florida. <gasps> Homes- Florida. Homestead, Florida. Oh, I know where that is. You do? No. Oh. <laughs> I think I do. I th- it's on the coast, yeah. I don't know. On the yeah, Florida's world. kind of all of our homestead right now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so get this. This was in the 20s, right? 1920s. It was a, I'm pretty sure it was Latvian, which I don't know. Sounds right. Lat- Latvia? That sounds like where Winston used to play basketball. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Um, but oh, yeah. <laughs> he was a Latvian immigrant, and his name was Edward, and I'm going to totally mess up his last name. It's Get like it. Lead Scallion. Lead Scallion. L-E-E-D-S-K-A-L-N-I-N. Scallion. Scallion. Lead Scallion. Lead Scallion. Big Whatever. fan of green onions, that guy. <laughs> but this dude lived by himself, Okay, had 10 acres, and basically built a castle all out of coral stones. And he, he would only work at night with no one watching, and he would move these giant blocks of stone by himself. Mm. And the heaviest stone at the this place weighs 28 tons. What? No, he did not. No, he did not. Yes, he did. What did with what? But the house is still this, there? This, yeah, it's still there. You can go see it. And there's called, no confirmation that anyone helped him. He had a bobcat. Uh, yeah, he was. All neighbors reported like in he would only. He would only. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he had a bob. No, an animal bobcat. I meant. <laughs> but he <laughs> said, several pulling the rocks. When asked, like, how are you able to achieve this, moving these giant stones, stacking them on each yeah. other, all by yourself? He said he possess. Or wait, what did he said? He said I've learned the secrets of the pyramids. What? Cool. Share. <laughs> And he wouldn't go share. on, but people are like, like today they're like, he, he literally figured out like, uh, levy systems and like how to use, um, what do you call it? Um, um grab, seesaw. I don't know. Like, uh, I'm blanking on every <laughs> word right now. He just learned leverage, like yeah, yeah. whatever. But people are like saying that he figured Boys out this like ancient wisdom of like, gravity and magnetic forces to move these giant blocks yeah. and he would carve them by himself Jeez and like Louise. but it's uh, 10 acres it makes me think that he just acres. like he started like digging on in the sand and then he just found the castle and so he's oh, really yeah. just digging around around it like, <laughs> yeah. was like how do you build this like um, i'll uh-huh. never tell mm, that's nothing. I, uh i figured out what the egyptians do that's what I did. <laughs> that's great. It was in the 20s. That's so it was before like power tools. Um, Andrew, you need to pull up a picture of the sure. Coral Castle? The Coral Castle. It sounds like something Disney would name like a uh, restaurant in yeah. like the uh, Finding Nemo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm going to head down to the Coral Castle, guys. This is a real field trip we can go on. It is. Yeah, we should. Should we do a podcast outside the Coral Castle? Oh. <sighs> is it actually coral? Or yeah, is it like, like coquina? It's, it's like that coral stone. Like that white like white stone that has like the holes in it? Yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. He built that's that so by, cool. by himself. That's wow, weird. That's Coquina. And that's without using, like, cranes, any, like, electrical That's equipment. weird. Yeah. I'm going to look into that. That's nuts. It's insane. Wow. But I thought that was crazy. That is pretty cool. That is so cool. I think uh, your theory was correct, though, that he figured out what the Egyptians did because yeah. the Egyptians stole even further ancient 
technology. sculptures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole thing with the Sphinx head. Yeah. Like it doesn't proportionately match the. Uh, we talked about that, right? How this we did? Uh, I swear. Oh, would it change? I think we've talked about it two times. That yeah. I think so one of them came. <laughs> before, one of them came before. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the Sphinx, Sphinx was there before yeah. the ancient Egyptians got there, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, they changed the head into the pharaoh looking dude. They they say that um, some of the testing they've done on the Sphinx indicates that it was at one point underwater. Yeah. Interesting. With the erosion patterns. That would make sense with yep. if get all that sand. Will I show you that picture? We'll put it up oh, too. Oh, yeah. But it's a... It's a cre- you know the like Washington a- Monument, how it's just a pillar with a point on it? Yeah. They said, what if that's the... <laughs> what if that's what's under the pyramids? If it's just a huge tower and that's just the tip of it. Why? Like in... Like imagine oh. like in Egypt, like underneath <laughs> the sand... Imagine well, if let me, let me show wow. they dug and it just kept going down. Wow. I don't know what's under. The, I'm sure they've probably figured it out, but still, <laughs> that would be the craziest thing. Uh, can you see this, Lil? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> see the things under it? <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like a rendering of it. But Why would that be that way? That, but not. that's the thing. It would be like, it, that'd be it really be. cool, though. I don't know. That'd be really <laughs> funny. Like, could you imagine? Oh, like, literally the entire pyramid is just the point. Yeah. yeah. I it's had it visualized a in my head that they had the whole period, pyramid, but then in the middle was its own monument, and just the tippy top <laughs> of the pyramid was... <laughs> the that's crazy, right? <laughs> right, I guess. I guess, I was Andy, like, but what would the point be? <laughs> that would be the point. Oh. oh. But, but that kind of... Are you, gonna, you on that, or are you going on something Go. else? Go. Dude, think about things <laughs> like we mentioned like how like if the like the uh the pyramids were more and expanding that kind of universe how about the uh, the fact that our universe has actually expanded like to the point where we just made the discoveries of those six new galaxies oh yeah Crazy. six nasa discovers six new galaxies six that, new old galaxies that, that are like, like ancient new, galaxies. To, new to us yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like it changes everything on the big bang because yeah. they, they grew oh, yeah. so because they don't know for a fact but what they're saying is like if that's true then these things had to have grow, like grown so incredibly fast, faster than anything else before that of their size. So it changes everything. So it's either those things were existed before the Big Bang, or they grew faster than any galaxy ever. And so that and like that asked more questions. Yeah, they it's said like crazy. someone like a lot of them were saying like this changes all science. Yeah, they said and physics like, doesn't matter anymore. It's just like it's just completely like changed because their their theory was. Like their truth, you know, yeah. of like the Big Bang theory. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, that's kind of being disproven in a sense with these six galaxies that they just found. You're like, what's happening? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> the thing. And like when you, when we grow up, like we think science, like that's the end all be all when science says it. But the thing is, science changes its mind constantly. And so, like, that's like this new discovery, it's crazy. Science and then suddenly, crazy. like, with, yeah, with yeah. planets, <laughs> even. Pluto, yeah. like I mean, like there wasn't originally nine at the first. Like is it was Pluto like oh, I think it was like three. No, no, not technically anymore. I feel like they so they it was they, they did so, it was, so it was eight. It was nine, and now it's eight. And so it like science does change its mind. It's just like it's ever evolving. It's really really strange. It's messing. It's yeah, scary, yeah. man. What's in those weird. six galaxies? Have you guys What's heard of them? the Big Bounce <laughs> instead of the Big Bang? <laughs> no, they're saying the gal like the That's universe. me on a diving board. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey. Well, they say the universe is expanding and that's all they were observing for this long period of time was the expanse. And that's why they assumed it was a singular point. But now it's returning, which oh. implies that everything, the universe is just breathing. And so it comes down to a point and that's the point when it compressed. And then when it began to shift out, that's what they used to call the Big Bang. Now they're calling it the Big Bounce because it big came bounce. back. The Big uh, Bambino. That's what <laughs> we should call Bambino. it. The Big Bambino. Yeah. The Great Bambino. The Great Bambino. That's wild. Um, Crazy. Absolutely nuts. Yeah. yeah. So now what's our next theory? Let's make something up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Josh has tasked me to come up with a conspiracy theory because um, I, I feel like I can make anything connect if I look hard enough. And so he gave me the challenge of how COVID-19 was started all by Finding Nemo. <gasps> Oh and so it's it's my it's my goal to come up with a con- <laughs> I bet you can find where, connections. Where, where we'll tell it on the podcast and we'll cut it and we'll put it on the socials and we'll try to make you guys got to make it viral. Yeah. So we can try to fool the world. Did you into know believing. Finding Nemo led to COVID? Start like it was the reason for COVID nineteen. <laughs> like what? <laughs> tell me more. And we just could do like 
cheesy back and forth. Yeah. I had no idea. I, How did you learn that? I know that this is like too real for this podcast probably, but did you see that they're signing something to release all the documentation around how COVID came from that Wuhan, Wuhan virology Wuhan, lab or whatever? Yeah. Well, that's they, yeah. That's, I don't, that's, uh, this I mean, how much of it do we not know? How much of it will be boring? Like, and we'll not like, we'll not even care about like, yeah, yeah. man, it's crazy. And then, you know, what else I'm scared about is somebody commented on our video that aliens are supposed to invade tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're filming. Trump's getting arrested yesterday. <laughs> aliens are coming tomorrow. What's happening on we'll, Friday? We'll see. So today when we're filming, this is March 22nd. Yep. And they said that the aliens are going to come <laughs> on March 23rd. And they're going to take 8,000, was it 8,000? 8,000 people. 8,000 people from Earth to go fight on another planet <laughs> Listen. To, to save this alien race. And then it's just going to lead to this whole plant war of the world, world war. <laughs> <laughs> planet Star <fighting>. Wars! <laughs> No, I was like, no, about, we did start with a boom. I don't. I was, oh, what theme song is this? Because I was just about to go. Ba, da, 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 da. This is Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, well, I was about to start singing that. I was like, wait, that's the wrong one. Um, but that's uh, golly. What was I was about to say. We were talking about oh, right before that. Golly, I completely spaced on it. Uh, space. Oh, Ooh, that's it. <laughs> Oh, but like, hey, listen, aliens, if you're watching this, we volunteer ourselves as tribute as the nope. NAB. NAB no. No, 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 let me finish. Oh, okay, okay. Um, as your slaves, we're like, no. <laughs> allow us to please go into your galactic space <laughs> as long as we will fight the war. Mm. We will fight the war on the front lines, front lines. And uh, as long as we get to do a podcast on your planet or your starship. Okay. So. Yeah. Deal? What? Deal? You're not going. Lily, you're being Why? selfish right now. Oh, my God. It's to save. You're the human you're being, you're race. Being, you're no. being selfish right now. And These are gonna, our neighbors. Yeah. You're going to go all astronaut's wife on me. What's oh. the astronaut's wife? you never seen that movie? movie? Recommend. No. I've never seen Johnny it. Depp, Charlize Theron. It's Scary. crazy. What is I thought Anywho. that was like I thought that was just a phrase like oh, yeah no. don't go astronauts wife on me like I'm like <laughs> like is there a stereotype behind astronauts wives or something? <laughs> you can't go. That. You're not allowed to go. Come on. Come on. Well, mm -hmm. please. Please let me go. No. She never lets us do anything fun. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, well, let's go to Coral Castle, but not s space fight <laughs> with aliens. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. Um, farts. <laughs> I just what? lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> what? I don't know. I just lost my train of thought. You do some sign language over here? Yeah. Yes. He's just, he's giving me a cue that he had to restart the camera. Um, we don't need a cue. Uh, the Italy. Uh, Italy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Italy. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you about Italy. Find it. I got it. Tell me about Italy. There's a clothing company in Italy. <laughs> I doubt it. Called <laughs> Capable. Have you heard of this? No. Capable. It's an Italian clothing company. Yeah. <laughs> Say it again. That's actually a really good marketing. Like, I'm capable. Mm. That's a really good. But guess campaign. what they did? They had AI algorithm design these clothes. Oh no! That if you wear them, smart facial recognition can't find you. Oh, that's cool. See, right? Hey, kind of cool. Thanks, AI. The patterns look wild, though. They oh. look like a fever dream. Uh oh. Like here, I'll show a picture right here of this um this outfit. But yeah, it's like it's these crazy patterns and like so it almost did, like it does something against cameras and stuff. It, it makes the wow. cameras freak out like well, it can't pick dude, up on it. Dude, this is the start of AI versus the world. Yeah, because it's gonna that's that's gonna hurt sales. Like, uh, that's gonna hurt this like the market. That's gonna hurt the government if it gets to a certain point where it starts taking away money or it starts taking away control. That's scary. Imagine if these AI robots wore capable clothes. They could get anywhere. Ooh. Yeah, because they were What about like, bank robbers? Yeah. Hey. 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 I mean, that's you actually could, like- You, you can still see them on camera, but yeah. like the thing can't like yeah. pick up grab your onto face. You. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was crazy. That's nuts. That's should, a, that would be so much fun to try. That's pretty cool. We should Until get a, the AI clues in all the cameras. Mm. But the AI designed the clothes. So it wouldn't be in its best interest to- Maybe they're the designing the clothes. I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to should we, something. Should we try to buy some of those clothes and do a whole podcast in those clothes and see how it looks? <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> the focus will just be like... <laughs> That'd be so funny. Um, it's I a just, big QR code at that point. I just want to jump back for a second um, to the um, alien talk. Did you guys hear 
the NBC Nightly News uh, of when he said that the Pentagon said that there is a potential mothership headed towards Earth. Mm, yeah, you told me about it. He said it so casually. And he's like, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> and it's like, what? Hold on. That and spring break, oh, uh, special holiday se- se- season deals right after this. <laughs> All right, hold on. Listen to this. Emory Mitchell, thanks. In 60 seconds, the new draft report on UFOs. The Pentagon's expert warning about a possible mothership coming close to Earth. Stay with us. Stay what? with us. <laughs> Stay with us. You end on that. <laughs> oh now our gosh. sponsor, Denny's. How you doing? Grand <laughs> Slam. Like what? How is that so casual, nonchalant? Like we've we. I feel like we just talked about the possibility of there being another species of whatever. What does that mean, and mothership? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh my but there's goodness. like there's this thing that's been flying around. It's like flown around Earth or close to Earth before, but it looks like a giant like rock looking thing like this. Yeah. But the way it flies through space like almost defies physics. Mm. Yeah. Like it's not like completely going off of gravity, and so this one expert in the Pentagon or whatever is like, yeah, that's a mothership. Ah. Says who? <laughs> How do you know? That's so specific. It just looks like a rock. Just like he's just on his phone. That's a mothership. <laughs> oh, that's got like, What? Be. We that's need your full attention, sir. Doug, is that the official statement from the Pentagon? <sighs> what? <laughs> Are you saying from the Pentagon, there Officially. is a mothership headed towards Earth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let's Sorry run. for bothering you. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's so. crazy. That'd be so fascinating to just like, like, are we just, is that going to be normal five years, 10 years from now where we're just on the news and it's like, we just see a news story happening, but then there's UFOs happening in the background that we're not even paying attention to because it's so normal at that point. It's going to be next. Like, like the Mermaid like, Coalition has <laughs> protested. Mermaid Coalition. The abominable snowman is angry about pollution. In the pond outside the Capitol this morning, there's a <laughs> group of mermaids. <laughs> Taking over. <laughs> Um, It'd be a, I mean, you have to be a little strategic on where you protest as a mermaid because you'd have to go toward water. Yeah, yeah. They, they go in the, what is it, reflection pond in D.C.? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, yeah. But Retention. it has to be salt water. Or do they, are they like bull sharks? Does it have they, to be? Like, they, 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 exactly, they're, they're like, <laughs> they like bull sharks. The bull sharks where they hold in salt so they can go. Like bull <laughs> yeah. sharks have been caught in like a Missouri River. It's like, what? how is that possible? Yeah. They because hold they re- the salt in? They retain no. salt. And they so go. Do I. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, let's go. Um, but yeah, straight it's, to my ankles. <laughs> um, my ankles are furious. <laughs> but uh, for real, though, speaking of mothership, should we cut to an ad? Oh, I say we do. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Hey. <sighs> oh man, it's getting late, huh? I'm sleepy. All right. Well, let me tell you a quick little bedtime story. Bedtime story? About what? This is about the fantasy adventures of Clearstream. Sounds nice. It is. Close your eyes, little buddy. Now, Clearstream is a software texting app that was designed and built for churches. (gasps) Churches? Yep. But you can also use it for organizations and events and fundraisers, whatever you want to do. Wow. it eliminates the group chat and the annoyance of all those back and forth one-on-ones. This is something you can text out and you can have one-on-one conversations that doesn't involve other people. You can talk to whoever you want to, whenever you want to. You can schedule texting. Oh, there it is. Now, you want a really happy ending? Huh? Here it is. All we have to do is go to clearstream.io forward slash ninjas. It's all the I <laughs> Clearstream.io forward slash ninjas to get 10% off for life. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Get him away from me! I'm oh, sorry, it was a nightmare. Oh, are you all right? One okay. more time, let's do it again. What I want to talk about is this one person commented this story about how this podcaster's wife was brutally murdered. What? Yeah. And Listen they to said this. it super randomly, and I'm like, like does this person want to had, kill me? No, it had <laughs> nothing to do with the post. They're like, I just heard a story that it happened five days ago to where a podcaster and his wife were, like, murdered because this guy was stalking them. Oof. And he's, he's, they're like, it wasn't on any news source. I just found it on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. 
It's like, why would you comment that on our- That's so, yeah. It's like- I also just forwarded you an email chain from our neighborhood. There's this person breaking into all the cars in our neighborhood. What? Mm-hmm. They're stealing uh, the babies out of the cars. Oh, no. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. Are Nightmare. You really? Yeah. When did you get that email? I forwarded it to you. I got it today. Oh. Oh. That That's stinks. Crazy. Don't yes. leave your kid. Don't leave your kids in your car. Hey, you guys you want them taken. Overnight. Yeah. Don't leave them. You remember the ad? Anymore. I remember that ad. It was the best ad. And I love that ad. Me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> um, but yeah. So... Uh, crazy stuff happening in this world, and it's sometimes it makes me stoked, and sometimes it makes me sad. <laughs> Don't let it make you sad. Can't help it. Yep, nope, you can. You have control over your emotions. Josh. I've, I've, That's what I'm learning. I'm in this weird mindset right now mm. because I told Lily I feel like there's like an omen over our family, yeah. and I don't really believe that, you know, because I do think that we're supposed to. Rejoice in every situation, you know. This is the testing of the perseverance of your faith. Yeah. Mm. And, but man, life has been real doo doo <laughs> lately. <laughs> it just seems like a lot of things are yeah. happening that are not fun. Um, and speaking of not, like, we were literally talking about this yesterday, walking the girls, mm. like, on our oh, street. Geez, yeah. And I'm not kidding you, because there's a lot of tree, like, oak trees on our street right above me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was an owl. Good. And I'm trying to find it. And I look, bro. Staring at you? It was, it feels like this. It was going, looking straight <laughs> down at me. And I scream. I'm like, ha! Ah! It was, I mean, it looked evil. It man. did. It was looking right and in then, my soul. And then I'm like, it's right there. And Lily's like, where? And she saw it. She goes, ah! <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah, it was so scary. And she grabbed the phone, and there was this little kid, like, on a golf cart, like, passing us. And then the owl flew down and away. And the, what? The scream Lily let out was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, was, I thought he was going to get me or my babies. <laughs> <laughs> and I was crying laughing. Ada was even laughing. It was, was the funniest thing. That is so hilarious. <laughs> and then we went inside and locked all the doors. <laughs> you, just, you just watch it go fly down the road and just grabs that, like, full grown kid. kid out of the car. The golf cart just keeps going. And the kid. <laughs> Dude, I'm not kidding you. That it was the creepiest. I mean, because it was it, creepy. It was just like looking down at me. It was with staring. Like its black eyes. Dude, that's what you get talking about. Uh, uh, Bohemian Grove. Oh, I guess man. they're after you. I because you got, you've had you've had uh, the pregnancy has been tough coming back. Like just yeah. like you had all that. You had the you were the cause for the internet all in your neighborhood. So everyone's yeah. hitting you for that. We've lost three trees in a year in our yard. The yeah. appendix attack. Our, our the, sewage is backing up. The sewage house. <laughs> the car the car Don't is trying to that. kidnap your kids. It is. <laughs> our drain oh my god. The tree service <laughs> ran over our drain field. Yeah, it's not your fault. No. And so like anytime we take a shower now, like our oh like gosh. there's a puddle in our yard. <laughs> so I know Florida it's not swamp. your fault, but our <laughs> audience knows that you say all the time I poop a lot. I do. So they're gonna tie those two things together. Yeah. I just want to go on record and say it's not his fault. No. That really did. And happen. we are doing something about it, audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the the But in the meantime, Ada loves the puddles. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I blocked it off. It's but it just stinks, man. And then the appendix Literally. stuff and then Appendix. Ada had You're... a rash from the nineteen eighties. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Your wife everything. purposely locking your kids in your car. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm just wasting the taxpayers' dollars. <laughs> the firemen come out. I'm over it. <laughs> it's a lot too much. Hey, just you give know me what? Some relief. Honestly, dude, I've had the best three months of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's been going. It's like right. a Freaky Friday. <laughs> <laughs> like your give life was life terrible back. before, and like we I, like grabbed the fortune. It cookie. all started New Year's, and oh. I made a wish. I said, "I wish I we lived a life as happy as Josh and Lily's." <laughs> I wish, I wish. And I clicked my heels together and I felt different in the morning of January 1st. I'm giving a new man. Dude. Wow. That's it. It'll be all right Never though. Never again. Yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> we're still happy. Yeah, we're happy. Right? Yeah. Right. Well, we have some of our health. Some. Um, less of it. We got a roof Six ounces head, less, though. but yeah, it's there. But we're, we're all good. Hey, I did get, I called the hospital again because they hadn't called back. Yeah. I called them back and our rep said, I have involved the director of risk management for Advent Health. Nice. To expedite this process for you. Expedite. Nice. That's awesome. That's a win. Yeah. 
I, I just want them to pay for hurting my throat. I want to own the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal. I won't press charges. Just give me uh, the keys to the hospital. Hand over the keys. <laughs> I want to live in there. I want that to be my home. I'm the chief of medicine now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the doctor. <laughs> That's not how it works, sir. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> and you're fired, by the way. <laughs> Hand me a scalpel. <laughs> You're in the lobby. <laughs> you want to be fired too? Yo, no joke though. That hospital food slaps. Really? It's so good. For it's such a troubled medical department. They got the food down. Hey, listen. No. Hey, if we could focus on one thing, one of two things. We could focus on the food or the medical stuff. No joke. Food. food. <laughs> That's what I was going to talk about last episode. I'm so glad you brought this up. So, and I love, I always love the food when I give birth. It's so good. Nobody believed me. I'm always like, guys, Waterman Hospital food. And it was so good for Josh to stay. While I was there, he had to be wheeled away for some. So I'm like, I'm going to go get something to eat, you know, down in the cafeteria. I went down there and I got a burger, fries, Reese's peanut butter cup, and um, a, cookie? a cookie and a Pepsi. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> a cookie? <laughs> I just, a cookie? I didn't say it like that. Yeah, <laughs> you did. A cookie? I said a cookie. No. no. It was, yes, it was, I it, did. You, it was pitched up. You're like, a cookie. Oh, my goodness. And whatever. <laughs> Guess how much deal? I spent? <laughs> how much? Uh, Seven ninety nine. No, Andrew. No, uh, 30, <laughs> 35 bucks. Eleven dollars. And it was that burger. The burger, really? Was good. Yeah, so good. It's almost like a Bubba burger. So oh, good, wow. Bubba burger. <laughs> Bubba burger. So With now I have said next time somebody asks me where do you want to go to lunch, I'm literally going to say Waterman Hospital. That's amazing. Just name dropping the hospital. That's so too. funny. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it last podcast, I think. I don't know if we mentioned the name of it, but yeah, I can figure it out. It's like the only hospital I want to go on, nearby. I do want to go on record. The nurses there are very, very so nice. They've always been stellar, very right? Yeah. And their yeah. labor and delivery unit is a class act. Yeah. It's amazing. Very good. Great experience. Yeah. Kelsey had to go there with the kids last year and they were phenomenal. Yeah. They were great yeah. with the kids and everything. It was awesome. The uh, evil anesthesiologist that cut me though, not a fan of him. No. We need to come up with a name with him. We have the Ding Dong Bandit. We need to have like the, yeah. what is it? His his what last is name is actually pretty. I don't want to say his okay. name. What, what is that called that he cut? Uvula. Uvula. Uvula? Uvula. I was about I was about to say that, but then I was Dr. like, Uvila. what if that's not the right term and I say Uvila. something really Uvila. bad? So I was like, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> what if it's <laughs> Dr. Body part. Dr. Evula. <gasps> like evil. Eula. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Evula. Evula. <laughs> Doctor. Hopefully, hopefully that's not a bad term. Hello, my name is Dr. Evula. <laughs> I'm He's here from to Transylvania. Your we, uh, um, that's that's uh, on brand for the hospital that our kids were born at. I would uh, found out that this guy in town who worked at a gas, uh, he did sushi for the uh, grocery store locally, and he did like boxed up stuff for the gas stations locally. And so I'd always eat sushi from a gas station. People were like, ugh. But it's like the, it was came from this guy at the grocery store who did amazing work. And it was so good. And everyone made that kind of comment. And then he got his own restaurant in Joplin. And no it's way. called On the Sushi Mon. And everyone loves him now. But he did the hospital. And, dude, when I tried it at the hospital, I was like, there's hospital sushi. I'm like, but it looks good. <laughs> I tried it, and I was so scared. But it was This is in Kansas? Delicious. Missouri. That's what I was going to say. Gas station and landlocked Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> With yeah. sushi, yeah. Oh, listen, we still have salmon. We still have trout. Where yeah. did where were we flying? And I tried the airport sushi, Montana. I was like, this will be fine. <laughs> I've never... We were in Chicago, weren't we? <laughs> really? I think that like we had that uh, we had the place left over in Chicago. Or did you get in Orlando? I, I don't. I, don't, I, I just you got re- it in Montana. I just remember like I mean, you guys in front of the bill. You know, the company was paying for it, so we were eating a lot of food. I eat really <laughs> Asian, and I hadn't eaten any Asian food in a week. And I saw sushi. I was like. I just need some rice and some fish and I ate it and it wasn't like before the flight took off. I was like, this is, this is a problem. Bad idea. <laughs> uh, we got it at that. Do you remember when we were trying to go home and Andy, we were boarding <laughs> our, <laughs> this is, okay. We yes. always talk about this. I yes. was no, wait, listen, yes. listen. I, well, cause what came up? Cause I'm like, it just, it brings so much anxiety. Well, to we me. missed like, our when, flight on the way there. Right, yeah. so that already caused a ton of anxiety. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but it was literally we were sitting there for two hours, Andy, two hours, <laughs> and we had we had already missed one flight, and they're like now boarding, blah 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 to Montana. It was our group, and Andy's like, I'm gonna go get a Starbucks. <laughs> I'm like, Andy, it was right there. 
You were the last one on the flight, though. I, I don't think I, I was the last one. No, you one. were. <laughs> you were. And I was Only like, because I saw who I'm was like, going in I'm last. Please, Andy. I kept saying, if should he w- go sit with him? Because he's going to miss it, you know? No. I had already paid for the drink, and so I was just waiting on the drink. So I had an eye on the gate, and I said, I will run at the gate if I need to, <laughs> but I'm going to... I'm going to enjoy my last flight home oh with the Starbucks goodness. drink. Dude, it freaked me out. I was on it. I He's got it. My I was palms living. are sweating thinking about <laughs> it. And I, was listen, I had my headphones on. I was listening to music. I was having a great time. I'm such a dad at the airport. I'm just <laughs> like, are. we got to get to the gate right now. It's like the flight doesn't leave till, for three hours, but let's just find the gate. Yeah. Right? That's, That's why like, I was so surprised when we went late um, that time going to Montana. <laughs> That's my dad's I was fault. Because like, <laughs> t- our flight was at, like, say it was at 8 o'clock, and I said... To my dad, who is typically like I am of like getting there early. I'm like, yeah, should we get there? If it's at 8, we should get there at like 5.30. Because Orlando Airport, it's huge. Yeah. Absolutely. And my huge. dad heard like 9 or 10 or something. 4 p.m. He, he did not hear the right number. <laughs> He's like, no, we'll get there at uh, 8. I'm like, really? I'm and like, that's – or uh, yeah. And yeah, whatever time. And I, when you told me, I was like, hey, what time are we leaving? You said it. And I was like – are you sure? And he said, you said, you're fine. Because I think you just like, I yeah, told well, my, dad's got, my, dad. my dad's got it. <laughs> yeah. And so we got there and immediately we're told there's no it. way you're making yeah. it fine. Yeah. Even though we tried immensely, oh but it's like, goodness. I felt like that was such a good look for me. Cause I had gotten hired as a content coordinator Yeah, and me and my wife were the only people who made it to Montana in time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we got a hotel the night before at the airport so we could make it. It's a smart move. It is. Airports are Stinky. I don't like. I, don't, I love them. No, I don't know they, why. Like, I love. Make, I love the people like watching. They make me so anxious. Yeah, it makes me feel like at Disney World. It's it's kind of like the airports, like where it's like every there's so many people that are from everywhere, and mm-hmm. it's really neat to see everyone's like just like different way of like traveling and having fun. Like, and, like going like through like too. TSA and stuff. Yeah, I'm just. I'm always. I'm like. They're gonna catch me with something. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like I have when they nothing. bring the when yeah. they bring the dog. The dog. Out, you're like. like <laughs> you're just. You're trying to. But you're trying to like act normal. You're just like walking. like you're like, what if I bumped into somebody with an illicit drug or something? Yeah. And like brush on my. <laughs> but that's I, that's I do the thing that, like, people do is they'll plant drugs on you to try to get you to go through. Cool. And then pick it up. New anxiety. Yep. <laughs> I've heard it's more for like, you know. Bombs. The, yeah. Bomb, I was going to say. Just <laughs> <laughs> Explosions. Just, yeah. Yeah. You guys always do that. I don't know if we can say that on this podcast, but don't you guys do well, this we, thing? We, we try to test the, um, the because, you know, like, at, what is it called? What happened after 9-11 that they implemented the... Like all the TSA stuff? No, it's called something where they collect all of our phone calls and... Uh, I'm not sure. The Patriotic Act. That's what it is. Hey! The Patriotic, Patriotic Act. <laughs> where they're listening to everything. And so we always try to like test that with one of our buddies <laughs> going on a flight. And we'll just text him like, bomb, <laughs> threat, explosion, Hey, I plane, heard, I heard Colorado's the bomb. Hope you have fun on your flight tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, just to see if they get flagged at TSA. <laughs> Which um, is uh, probably not very funny, but yeah. it's, <laughs> it's not. It's funny because like they'll get pulled over and they'll make they'll look like idiots and yeah. then, then that's it. That's <laughs> it. But I also do that with like if I see a cop and I'm like walking stuff up. I did nothing wrong. No. <laughs> but I just I feel like I gotta like just act normal. Yeah. And it's like if I were just to <laughs> walk, that would be normal. But I just <clears throat> it's like if you go into a store looking for something and you don't find it and yeah. then you leave. You like you like want to oh, make eye contact yeah. with like the person. No, behind you the, never make eye contact. I do because I'm like I want you to know I'm, I I'm say not thanks. stealing anything. I always say thanks because I literally I'll do the loop. It's most of the time like I'm looking for like a drink or something, and it's like I walk in, don't find the drink, and then I walk right out or something. I can't <laughs> do that. Like, Thank you. What Keep do you walking. do if this? And, I, and then I run immediately up. The <laughs> yeah. If the security thing beeps at you, what do you do when you're leaving a store? I, I stop. Yeah, I, stop. I, I pull out no. all the receipts. Yeah, Dude, I <laughs> don't turn around. Walking. Yeah, I don't look at anybody. <laughs> I, mean to. I I am a. I don't know if this is weird. I don't know if you know this about me, but every time I do go grocery shopping, which I love, I love go grocery shopping by myself. I'll cool. have headphones weird. on, and so I'll like I literally have a show playing in my cart, and I'll have my so list in my head, and I just go grocery shop. I'm in my own world having fun, and so like if the thing does go off, I just keep walking because so I want I want a Walmart employee to tackle me, <laughs> and I want to never have to work another day in my life because Walmart had to pay me like three million dollars. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, did you yeah. think it was weird that he had headphones or that he grocery shopped alone? I, no, not that you grocery shop alone because that's great, but I it's weird that you like it. Oh, yeah. I love food and I love like organization and planning of yeah. food. And so that's like, I, I and Kelsey hates it. I don't know how you go in a grocery store. We got to figure this out. 
I go aisle by aisle. Yeah. Literally in a zigzag crazy. all the way through. No. Because Kelsey, she's How like, I need this, it? this, and this. I know what I want, and I go to those aisles to get them. Okay. Well, but I don't know where the aisles are. So exactly. I that's why I don't like it everywhere. That's why I don't like I don't I hate when I get over here and I realize, oh, I forgot sour cream, which is all the all the way there. You don't so go I all just, you don't go all the way back. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I have to do this. <laughs> no, I don't like grocery you shopping. Start, I'm, I immediately beeline right. You're supposed to do the outside because that's the healthiest food, and then the inside is the unhealthiest food. Mm. Yeah. That's probably <laughs> smart. <laughs> I probably I start like most of the time with like frozen food, like not the frozen foods, but like the refrigerated stuff. Mm. So that keeps me like, okay, I got to get out of here. But then I just run through it. Speaking of um, grocery stores, mm. did you hear about that monk in Greece? You know, I didn't. The Greek Orthodox monk named Mahalio Tolotos. You're nailing the names today. Let me start this over. <laughs> did you hear about that Greek Orthodox monk named Mahalio Totolos? No. Okay. <laughs> it's this monastery in like this like really remote part of Greece. Mm-hmm. I think it's Greece. Mount Athos is the, it's on a mountain, right? That sounds Greek. And Greece is the it, word. It's very exclusive. Like um like no women have ever entered it. What? And stuff. Triggered. Uh, he was dropped off there. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> he was dropped off there as an infant, right? And was raised in that monastery, became a monk. And he died recently at the age of like 82, I think, without ever seeing a woman. Oh, my gosh. He had no idea what a woman looked like. That'd be terrifying. Isn't that crazy? The first time I've ever seen a woman, that would make your mind like explode, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, why is your eyelashes so long? <laughs> why is your eyelashes? <laughs> why is your eyelashes so long? <laughs> so that's how they talked. <laughs> I just thought that was crazy. That's Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, like you never think about like if you never saw a... I mean, because they probably all looked fairly similar, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that would be very trippy. Isn't that crazy, yeah. though? Yeah. Do you like, feel just, bad for him? Um, I mean, he probably was probably happy. He didn't know what he was missing. <laughs> Josh, you know? the correct answer is, yeah, I'm really um, upset that he never got to meet a girl like you. Aww. So, that's what you should have said. <laughs> that's what I would have said. Why are you talking to my wife like that? I would oh never say that's your wife. You just did. I'm glad that monk didn't meet her. Oh, he hey. would have been. He would. <gasps> boo women. Oh my gosh. No, I'm just Andy. No, I'm just, I'll take that back. He would. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> boo boo women. women. I don't like. This is what they are. Pass. <laughs> I'm going back to the books. That's it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's how monks talked. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's up with this? It's from New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I thought that, that was, would be that would be really crazy. Like that'd be like never having like step foot outside. Yeah, like yeah, it's just like it's just like he didn't look out windows. That was like a thing I did hear about him, but he didn't have a window to look at like passersby and stuff. He didn't even so no see. mom. No, he hadn't. But he was dropped off as an infant. Like he was. An but like orphan. that's what I'm saying. But like he didn't. He grew up without a mom. Yeah, in the uh-huh. in the monastery. Well, technically, that man he did see a woman. He just can't recall it. Okay. <laughs> Unless I was doing this all the time. Too. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Love um, you. Yeah, but that is crazy. That's fun. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I think I think we should challenge ourselves. Pick one thing for the rest of our lives to never see again. Okay. Um, you go first. Mm, I think you should go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Lily should go first. No, I can't think of anything. <laughs> the one thing that I never want to see. Um, I never want to see a cinnamon roll in Gatorade water. <laughs> That's fair. Ever again. I want to never see... I don't know. An owl. A Wes Anderson film ever again. What? No. Too artsy. That's what. That's your I opinion. I try to watch the French Dispatch. That one's recently. too that one, that intense. One, that one's very that one's artsy. Too hardcore. Too, is that the first too, one you've seen though? Can we can we sit on this I've for a second? The, yeah, let's the report back. Captain Steve Zuzu or whatever. Oh, the um, uh, Life Aquatic. Aquatic. Yeah, Life yeah. Aquatic. I watched that one. I, you haven't watched the Moonrise Kingdom? Though, no, yet. you'll like no. that one. That's yeah. a fun one. Or I try. I thought the French Dispatch was supposed to be good because, like, I was like, it is, but it's like it's very couldn't get into it. It's yeah. too abstract. Yeah, well, it's, it's try hard art. It's not. No, great. no, no, no. It's watch it. Basic no, 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 framing. No, 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 no. I would watch it, but I've already, colors. I've already said I was never going to watch. I was never going to see it again. <laughs> so that's my woman. 
Mm. That's my <laughs> monk woman. <laughs> you should have said your dad. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh. I was going to joke like just like my children, but that, I don't think that would have been funny. Oh, <laughs> I'll do ladybugs, I guess. Ladybugs? What? I don't know. Owls! Oh, yeah. That's the obvious one. I changed my mind. Owls. <laughs> the owls would be I smart. never want to see owls again. <laughs> I don't think any of your family members do except for Ada. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no owls. Okay. We really do need to go meet Andy's dad. He can't you, now. You know, you know the sad thing is, is that my real dad's name um, is Brad, which rhymes with dad. And it's, <laughs> it's just, it's like, it's right there. It's right it's there. It's right there, dad. You're so I mean, close. Ah. <laughs> um, That's what, why every time I come home, I bring candy. Hey, there's probably someone here listening from Las Vegas. Probably. Andy's dad is a blackjack dealer. <laughs> don't do it. Don't, don't. We're not going to do that. We have to find Wait, him. Can, I know where he's at. I know where oh. he works. Oh. Yeah. Do you know the the we, casino? All we got to do is just get a ticket and go. Guys, comment. <laughs> should <laughs> we go play blackjack? Play blackjack with Andy's dad and then do a whole reveal. This is your son. <laughs> comment below. <laughs> should yes we bring or a no? therapist with us? And he's going to just gonna be I like. I can do it. He's just going to be like, <laughs> that's it? That's it right there? I just imagine the like the shot like I've told you this before like we're playing blackjack and you're just crushing it you're just killing you're making like so much money and then while I'm over there just like crying literally with a baseball mitt begging him to come play catch with me <laughs> please dad <laughs> hit and then you're over there hit me <laughs> <laughs> hit me again Brad <laughs> we're on a roll <laughs> it's like Lily's behind you with like a fur coat and a bow <laughs> <laughs> I- we have to get it, sweetheart. <laughs> I should talk like that. Blow, blow. Blow him. <laughs> because I feel like if Lily did hit a big, there would be the big tinted rose glasses that with the big so fur funny. coat. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. But okay. Yeah. Comment below. Should we go see Andy's dad? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Maybe Andrew can pass as a Native American. We could buy a casino in Las Vegas. Did you say? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if you could say that. Buy a casino. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, we'd make so much money. <laughs> <laughs> See, he got the approval. <laughs> I was like, I, I just imagine him funny. just standing. I just imagine him just standing up on like the floor, just like looking over everyone, taking care of us in a big like tight ponytail. You guys are all like dressed out. I just <laughs> bolo tie, <laughs> yeah. just put a suit and stand against the wall. <laughs> He's holding a surfboard his- still. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's go find your dad. And that right. should finish our episode. Huzzah! Huzzah! Brad! <laughs> all right. <laughs> episode 31. Why are you guys so quiet? No, I was saying I was giving a kiss oh. goodbye. Are we done? Do you kiss loud? What? Do you have anything else to say? No, I, I went by really fast. That's all I'm saying. It did. It went by so fast. How long was that? Uh, well, I started around an hour. All right. Something like Good that. Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> that was so hard. <laughs> Whew. And cow. that's the end of the script. Uh, Could you imagine if it was all scripted? It is. How, Every, how um, bad of writer would it have to be? <laughs> that actually <laughs> be, to script this out. That would actually be really good scripting. Though, it would be, actually. You know? Um, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Go comment on everything. Everything. Tell a friend about it. Tell a friend. Share it. Follow us on... TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Yeah. Just have fun with it. Yeah. Thanks go, for being here, go guys. Go give us five stars. You. Yeah, we love you. This is so much fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is so much fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. I have a blast. I love podcast days. I could do this I every single day. Really? I 100% good. But you do a lot more homework than I do. I know. So. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I was a little scatterbrained today because we had a, if I need a to bring, day. If I need to do more homework, I can. You do have that one topic for Which, next. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I could have talked about that today. Yeah, yeah, for we'll, sure. We'll save next it. week. Next it's, week. It's crazy. Uh-oh. It's wild. It's wild. And that's not just clickbait, guys. That is actually a cool story. That Episode thirty-two coming at ya. All right, love you. Bye. 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 Ah, oh, butterflies. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most.